what is going on everyone welcome to another update video now this is not just like a normal update video it's actually as you can tell by the title this is my thoughts and opinions on the new game murdered soul suspect now this is 1080p pc footage okay so this is recorded on the pc using an xbox 360 controller um which you can do if you didn't know you could do that but then again um anyway so if you are interested in like crime solving and kind of like crimes um, overall um, and how they are made and how you can solve them, things like that, or like if you watch a lot of crime shows, for example, stuff like that, um, then this game will be interested. Uh, you'll be interested in this game. And also, um, if you like kind of like supernatural type things, like things that aren't kind of um, a normal, like paranormal type shows as well, um, it's a mixture of both. Um, so it is actually a detective forward slash like supernatural type show because you're currently a ghost, right? So a little bit of backstory into this game, right? Okay, so you're known as someone called Ronan, right? You were a you were a cop, okay? He was actually a detective um, in this. So and then you actually got killed by um, a, um, it was like a a serial killer at the time, okay? Well, obviously the serial killer is still going on, but um, rather than you going straight to like heaven or wherever you go after that um, in the light, as it's called. Um, you actually, um, you have something called unfinished business, okay, so you basically, the role of the game is to find your killer, um, and obviously that's the main part, so you are still acting as a detective, but obviously nobody can see you, nobody knows you're there, um, and things like that, so there will be a few spoilers in this, um, in this part, guys, so if you don't like spoilers, then go now, um, so then you won't see anything, but anyway, um, you can see the gameplay, you can see the, the graphics, things like that, the graphics are very nice, the game runs very uh, well, um, and it's not a very high, highly, like, it's not a difficult game, okay, so it, it obviously takes a little bit of common sense to get through, um, and uh, it features a lot of things as well, so you can actually possess people as well to find out what they're thinking, you can find out, uh, you can also sometimes uh, get them to do stuff, and and like influence them to to think stuff. So you'd come across, you go into them, and then tell uh, you influence them to do to think about this, and then they will tell you about it without obviously you knowing. So that's pretty cool. This is like a little bit of the game that is kind of into the story, my guys. So if you did want to go, I'll go now. Um, but this is just a bit of footage that I recorded whilst I was playing. Um, so it was just like getting into it and stuff, and I just edited it together, and you'll see it. But this is a really, really good part that I wanted to show you because you can see the cutscenes, right? You can see the graphics during the cutscenes. Um, it genuinely looks like you're just playing it normally, um, and you can see the way that he reacts in a different way. If you can, if you can understand that, you see it in a sec. Um, but you can see the way that he walks. He just walks like a normal character, but he's a ghost, so nobody can see him apart from mediums, okay? Which is where you'll meet one in a sec. But you can also see other ghosts, okay? You can interact with other ghosts. You can help some of them as well because um, you can go up to them and interact with them to the point of where you can help them go and see, go into the light, um, uh, so to speak. So it's a really, really cool game. It's not just uh, story-based, okay? There's a lot of uh, features in it that are really, really cool. I really do like the way that it's, it's set out. Um, it's a very nice third-person game. Um, the story mode is very interesting so far. I've played, like I said, I've only played a couple of hours of it, so you can't really expect too much out of it so far, but it is really good. Um, now, as you can see there, uh, there are kind of like other freaky parts to it as well. Obviously, it's like a paranormal type uh, game, um, and having like freaky parts to it is what you'd expect, but it's not scary, so to speak. Like, there's not things that jump out at you. The, the scariest thing that I've come across so far are demons, which you'll see uh, towards the end of the, the video. Um, so, they're the scariest part of the game that I've come across so far, maybe towards the end or, or, or third, further into the story. Maybe there will be other, some other stuff, but I, I don't actually know that. So you'll see an interaction page in a set where I go up to the guy who's actually sitting on the wall here, um, and I go and talk to him, uh, question him about what's wrong with him and stuff like that. So I then go ahead. You can see the interactions on the left, right? You press a few buttons, uh, selective buttons, and then they'll answer certain questions, for example. So um, you're a bit jumpy, I asked. It said it sounds crazy, and then he's obviously saying uh, things because he's just passed away. So it explains like the way he's passing away, um, like horrible twisted things. I'm not even sure how I got here. I'm not dr like why. And then you ask him back. So there's a few selected things that you say from choice, but then obviously to to continue the conversation going, uh, like to continue the conversation, your character, the character itself, is going to ask like AI questions. So it's obviously like a normal game. What you'd expect there. But guys, the game is a lot of fun to play. So if you're interested in stuff like this, definitely go ahead and get it. It is a lot of fun. So far, what I've played, 
is insanely good. Uh, like it's addicting. It's a very very good game because I like cop shows. I watch all of these things like NCIS cop shows that are like uh, they solve crimes um, stuff like that. And I like paranormal type things as well. I wouldn't say that I'm the biggest horror fan because obviously it scares the hell out of me and that's not me. But this isn't scary and it's just a really really good story. So you should definitely go ahead and check it out. But up to here, right? We met. This is um. This is Joy here. She's actually a medium, so she is one of the selected people that you can speak to um, through the story. So, like I said, there are spoilers in here, guys. Go go if you don't want to see them um, or click off now. But, yeah, this is Joy. She's actually a medium that you'll meet um, in a story. And she, it, the, her character, I really, really like her character because at first she's kind of like the person that's like, no, go away, what? I don't even want to speak to you. And you see kind of what I mean in a sec when uh, everyone goes up to her, but... I just dropped a little stylus thing, but um, yeah, she's. I really do like her character because she speaks to you, and she's not a person that's like horrible to you constantly, like like a character that's just outright horrible and replies really sarcastically all the time. Um, but then when you start to speak to her, it's a lot of fun. Like the conversations and stuff is pretty cool. So, and I really like the main character as well because the main character you can tell is like a really good detective, and um, the main character actually Ronan here, the person who I'm controlling. Um, was once actually a criminal, and um, he he got to a detective. I'm not sure how. Um, maybe there is a story behind that, but I'm not so sure how. Um, but yeah, he was actually a criminal, and uh, got to a detective. Funnily enough, so it was pretty cool. Um, how you were once a criminal, like your character was once a criminal, and now he's a detective and actually solving other crimes. But you know, it's pretty it's pretty cool that way. Um, but anyway, this is another thing. Uh, you go up to things and uh, like observe them, and then you have to learn. Like, what can I learn from a uh, from looking at this or something like that um, and basically once you solve them you will see like kind of like a backstory to it so you'd see how the girl washed up on the on the uh, shore for example and then you'd see it towards the end that there was a guy there so you go up to the guy and question him about it and obviously he's a ghost as well um, so he must have died at that point but Personally, I just think it's a really, really cool game, guys. Let me know your thoughts of it in the comment section below. Um, it is out now, so definitely go ahead and check it out. Um, it's a lot of fun to play. Such a good story behind it. One of the, Probably, so far, one of the best games that I've played. Um, one of the most interesting games that I've played, and there's a lot to it as well. Um, it's really addicting, personally, because I really like stuff like this, so it's addicting um, to me. And uh, I've played it for about three, four hours straight as well. So it's it's a lot of fun to play. I really like the characters in the game. Um, the graphics are really good. Uh, what else? It runs really well. Um, this is on the highest graphic settings as far as I know. So obviously you get stuttering here and there. Because um, my computer isn't the best computer in the world. But um, as you can see, it runs smoothly. I'm recording it using HD PVR2. Um, I'm recording it to my other laptop. So... It's it's really good. Um, so this is the actual computer performance here. I probably wouldn't be able to record it and play it on the same computer. But like I said, my computer's not the best, so you'd expect that. But my opinion on this game is it's very well worth buying. I'm not sure how long the story is, obviously. Um, and I'd imagine it would be a lot longer for some people that do all the, like, the side missions, so to speak, that go up to the other ghosts and interact with them and, and find out their story, stuff like that. But for me... It's just sticking to the story. Sometimes I do the side missions. If you can do them after, I'll do them. But for now, sticking to the story, trying to just complete the story um, and see what happens at the end because I'm really, really curious as to how it happens at the end. So the way that the game starts, guys, it is insanely good. Personally, I think that the, when the game starts, it's really good. Like, Because wow. if you ever watch films or something that like starts at the end and then you, ha you work your way um, from there on, it's a lot of fun. It's like that. And uh, you start off from actually dying, and then you go on from there. So it's pretty goddamn cool, guys. Um, so definitely go ahead and check it out. I'm going to leave you with this footage now. Um, hopefully you guys have enjoyed. If you have, please go ahead and hit the like button, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, Facebook. Um, definitely follow me on Twitter um, because I, I post a lot on there, and then you can see what upcoming videos and stuff like that I have because I don't just post games like this. I post other games as well, like The Forest, Minecraft, etc., so uh, definitely go ahead and check it out. Hopefully you guys will enjoy the rest of this footage, and I will see you next time. Later. Did you hear that? Of course I heard that. Demon. <laughs>